Alrighty, so today we're looking at public variables for an easier life in Unreal. Um, sounds fantastic, very not boring. Um, so essentially, if you've been following along with the tutorials, you're probably starting to get together a comprehensive, which this is not because it's missing some of the stuff we've been doing, uh, s sort of blueprint for your tracked camera with things like lenses and um, delays and positions and offsets and all sorts of other goody things. Um, and so it ga it's ga probably getting a bit annoying to every time you want to make a change, go into the blueprint, find what you want to change and change it. Um, I know I find that very annoying. Um, and so it's rather difficult to make quick changes because then you've got to compile and save and then close and then start. And so that's probably getting a bit annoying or got annoying for me. Um, and so we're going to look at how to use public variables to make our lives a little easier with that. Um, so essentially to make a variable public, all you have to do is click this little eyeball. See, so a variable is public or not. And so that is the gist of what we're doing. Um, so I've added a lens array here. We don't actually have lens in here, but that's going to simulate our lens array. Um, and so if we hit public and compile and save it, um, what we can do then is if we go out of it, if we select it in our world outliner, you'll have a look. Here we go. Under default, we now have that variable here. So I can then set up all my different lenses that I want to use inside here, let's say 35, like so. And so that, that that's the idea behind this. So um, we can do another one for device ID. So if we drag off here and hit promote to variable, call it device ID, attract device ID, like so, make public. Um, we can look at our delay and make that public. Um, we can then get our offset. Yes, that's why I have a node here doing it. Uh, offset location and, and offset rotation. Like that. And so we can make these public as well and save it. And so now if we want to change any of those settings, all we have to do is click on our camera in the world outliner and change them over here. And we don't have to recompile the node. So if I want to change our offset, change the tracker ID number, change what lenses we have access to, change the frame delay, all that sort of stuff is available right here in a pinch. No need to open the blueprint, find it in the content outliner, find it in the blueprint, change it, compile it, all that sort of stuff. All I can do is I can come in here and quickly change the number, hit enter and hit play. And just like that, that is now updated. I think the controller went to sleep? No. Yes, there we go. Brilliant. And so that's just going to make a bit of peace of mind, a bit of uh, your life easier, really. 